Let's look at how we can calculate the percentile rank of each score in a series. Here we have the data for 100 workers who work at a lumber company. We're interested in the number of hours that the um, employees work. We want to find the percentile rank of each worker's hours. Now, because this is in a table format already, we can sort this going from largest to smallest and see that it ranges from some have 72 hours and it goes all the way down to zero and a few with 35. What we want to do is we want to get a percentile rank for each, each uh, number here, for each, uh, 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 for whatever hours they work, what percentile are they in because of the number of hours that they work. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to add a column to this table. So if we go over to the right and right by the, uh, the head of the table there, if we type in uh, our new column name, so we're going to call it a percentile rank of hours. And if we press enter, that creates a new column for us. Let's make it a little wider so it's easier to read. Percentile rank of hours. And it's added that onto the table, and we can now do a, a, a calculation. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to go into the first cell, and we're going to use a specific Excel command, percent rank exclude, ex, exe, meaning excluding. So let's choose that. And now we have to put in... Um, a couple of uh, uh, numbers. We have to put in the array of numbers. That means the whole data set that we're concerned about. And so for this problem, it's going to go from B4. Now, something important here is that we add the dollar signs before the B and before the 4, because those are Excel commands to let us know that we're not just supposed to change the formula when we calculate this for a different cell. So we're going to do $B, $4, and we're going to go down the column. So down here, so this is column B, and it stops at 103, B103. So if I, I go back up here and I do $B, $103, and then I need to put in the score for which I'm calculate, calculating the percentile rank. And that's going to be this one, the B4. Now, we don't put the dollars in here because uh, we're going to calculate each cell in the, uh, in the column. And we want that B4 to change for the one below it. We want to change to B5 to B6. We, we don't want it to stay the same for all of them. And then it's... Uh, ask us to put in the number of significant figures that we want. Uh, that doesn't matter too much. Let's put in four at the beginning. And then we close the parentheses. And now it's really important to use this uh, formula exactly uh, as I've, I've put it, except for the significant figures. That last number doesn't really matter. And we press Enter. And it calculated it for the first uh, uh, number of hours. It gives us a little function box there and overwrite all cells in this column with this formula. That's what I want to do. So I'll do that. And there it gives us a percentile rank for all of um, our uh, uh, numbers. Now that doesn't really look like percentiles. So let's go and choose the entire column. And then under home, let's, and in the number section, let's change, choose percentages. So I change it to percentage, and there we get the percentile rank. So the person that rate works 72 hours is in the 99th percentile. The person that works 50 hours is in the 76th percentile. There's a whole bunch of them, and so on all the way down. And we can get percentile rankings for everybody that way using the percentrank.exe command in Excel.